you guys. Let's read some energy. Um, ancestors of the highest white light, what is the message today? Five of Swords in the reverse position with the Page of Swords in the reverse position. We got a player who's not going to get away with it. Uh, hmm. Ace of Cups in the reverse position. Um, and the Hermit. I feel like somebody knows that there's a situation that's coming up that's not emotionally fulfilling. And Spirit is saying, just don't waste your time. Just focus on your light and don't even acknowledge whoever this person is i mean like and then we've got the six of wands here okay so it's like um you know sometimes you know you want to set boundaries with people sometimes you want to have a, a conversation to to help end things i don't know on a positive note but the message is just don't even bother with it um yeah, three of cups in the reverse position. There was a third party with whoever this is. Um, the world card. It, okay, yeah. So it's like the message that I'm receiving is that this was the end of a cycle and you're basically on to like bigger and better. I'm actually seeing the six of swords in the upright position in my head right now. So you're, you're already, you've already closed out this cycle. Okay, so like you don't, you don't need to, it was a karmic cycle, you've already closed it out, you don't have to deal with it anymore, okay? Ooh, baby, there might be a divine marriage coming in too. We've got the twin flame card. Ooh, hello, we've got action. Yes, all right. Um, ooh, wow, the two of cups, oh my goodness, this is amazing. So it's like if you have been kind of like going back and forth between suitors, um... <laughs> I feel like you know which one is not right and which one is right. And basically spirit is saying like don't even don't even mess around with the one that is not right and does not feel right because the one who is right is coming back in. And it could very very well be a um a twin flame too. Like you you might be in separation with your twin flame and um there's it's basically just interference. It's temptation. Don't give in to the temptation, okay? Um and you know, it can be like temptation like um needing to like validate yourself or prove yourself or you know what I mean like prove to yourself that like you're a nice person so you're gonna like close it out um yeah whoever this is they're just they are in denial they I feel like this is somebody who it's almost like I'm seeing the knight of wands in the reverse position it's somebody who just kind of like comes in and out whenever they want to and it's like somebody who honestly thinks that they are they're just some, they feel like there's something different than what they are. They feel like, I'm hearing superior. They feel, um, I'm literally seeing like somebody who feels like they, yeah, like they're superior. Like they're, I'm literally seeing somebody who feels like they're like a spiritual teacher or something like that. I'm surprised I don't have the hierophant in the reverse, reverse position. Um, I feel like, Yeah, there was some sort of an injustice that happened as well. Um, this person, it, I don't, there's a lot of messages coming through. Like, I feel like this person was, um, like, demeaning in that regard. Like, in, in the regard that they felt like they were better than somebody else. And it's like, they thought that they were, they maybe communicated like they were better than you or somebody else. Um... And they, they intentionally did that to lower your self-esteem, to lower your frequency, to make them, to make you a fit for them, so to speak. Okay, so that's, that's not cool. Um, we've got the death card here. Like there's, I feel like your ancestors are here and they're putting an end to this. Okay. Um, yeah, we've got the sun card in the reverse position. This is somebody who is negatively polarized. This is somebody who was pre pretending like they were not negatively polarized somebody who was pretending like they they know they know things but they they don't i feel like you know things um we've got the lovers card in the reverse position so I, I i you know we've got the um the 4 of wands here and the 8 of wands i definitely feel like your twin flame um there was a separation with you and your twin flame and your twin flame is coming back okay 
Um, let's see. Someone might need to block... Sorry to the mothers out there. Somebody might need to block their mother. Um, if... Yeah, if somebody's... Uh, if you have anyone in your life who tends to, like, pop in um, when you're doing really, really well, that's what I'm hearing. You need to block them and um, prepare for this twin flame union, which just includes... Um, you know, relaxing the nervous system and getting back into your essence, the essence of who you are without any triggers and things like that, because twin flames unite when they are healed and when they're not triggered, okay? Um, and, and when they come back together, then the two of you can, you know, have conversations and, and talk about, you know, committing and healing together, okay? So that's kind of how that works. Um, so you want to make sure that you're in, like, a really zen space. The word I'm hearing is zen. Um, for that arrival, okay? Let's keep pulling some cards. Oh, Spirit is also saying, um, we've got the Eight of Pentacles here with the Queen of Pentacles. Um, I also saw... Sorry, you guys. Yeah, okay, we've got the Eight of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles here, and the message that I'm receiving is that you have a lot of abundance coming in. Focus on your work, is what I'm hearing here with the, um, with the uh, Eight of Pentacles. Okay, just keep doing what you're doing. Focus on your work. Don't let anybody, like, kill your vibe, okay? Really, it's incredibly important, okay? Um, you're, you're raising frequency. You're, you're moving up, okay? Um... <laughs> This is a beautiful reading. This has great energy, you guys. Um, like, the beginning kind of started off like... I don't know, but it feels it feels strong. It feels like somebody knows, you know? I feel like um, somebody may not have been sleeping very well lately. Amethyst can be really good for um, helping with that in that regard. Um, I do have that in my Etsy shop, so I will leave a link in the description box. You guys can check that out. Um, but the message that I'm receiving is that this is this is going to change, okay? Um, and the reason was because I saw I saw the five of cups somewhere down here. Um, I think that there there's a dark empath who, um, yeah, it was the five of cups. Um, there's a dark empath who is, and it, it might even be this this player or this person whose spirit is like saying like stay away from them, stay away from their energy, um, because you don't want to even give them an opportunity to be able to latch onto your energy, um, and the way that they would typically do that is by um, is uh, by creating a connection with your um, sacral chakra. Carnelian is really good with your sacral chakra too, by the way. It helps to protect your sacral chakra. Tiger's eye is also really good. Um, it kind of helps you to like. It helps protect your sacral chakra by um, keeping, like, moving you forward, just by continuing to move forward, okay? And that would actually be really good, too, um, with regards to focusing on um, your path. But I think that there is some sort of dark energy or something that is, um, that's, that's trying to come in. I feel like you have gotten rid of it, though. Your ancestors have helped you get rid of it and closed out that cycle, okay? Um, but you, you don't want to open up that door again. Don't, don't do it. Don't fucking open up the door. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like, yeah, we got the ace of swords. Like that's the truth. Okay. Um, I feel like your twin flame is going to come in with some sort of, um, an emotion, an emotional message. Okay. Um, they're going to come in and they're going to tell you how you feel and it's going to be a beautiful conversation. Um, I feel like right now um, you are in the nine of pentacles energy, and that's a great energy to be in. You're you're kind of um, waiting for some major abundance to blossom. Okay, we've got you know the queen of pentacles here. Rem remember, you guys too. These cards are not gender specific. Okay, um, so it could be male or female. Um, and also remember that this is a general reading, so little bits and pieces may resonate with you. The entire story may resonate with you as well. Okay. Um, yeah, let's see what else is going on. Ooh, the Hierophant. I feel like there might be some sort of a level, a, a higher level of commitment. Of course, I already said that. We've got the um, the Four of Wands here, too. Um, we've got Temperance as well. Temperance is a card of patience and hope, okay? Um, the message that I'm also receiving is that the you and your counterpart have, have, have glowed up, like major, okay? Um, the Temperance card here is, um, you know... Uh, the third eye open, heart open, um, 
emotions are very balanced and you want to keep your emotions balanced okay and that's why you want to block anyone that has like any type of a vibe killer tendency because this is this is where you need to anchor in okay you are fully integrating this right here okay um, your emotions are um, very stable, very balanced. You've got your foot in the flow, okay? Um, you've got the sun rising up behind you to, to give you a nice halo here. Um, you're blessed, all right? You, you were blessed before, but you're, you're, you're on the next level, okay? <laughs> um, but patience, all right? That's what I'm hearing. I've also got the three of wands here, too. It kind of indicates the same thing. Um, movement forward, um, Yeah, Emperor in the reverse position. We've got a Narcissist. This person, again, I've got the uh, Five of Pentacles in the reverse position. This was somebody who may have ghosted you. Somebody who's just kind of like in and out of um, the situation. Um, so you want to watch out for that, okay? Hmm. I feel like there might be kind of like a little bit of an obsession as well. Um, but it's like... Um... They're, they're obsessed with their, themselves. Ugh, that's so gross. It's, they're so obsessed with themselves they can't even see. They can't even see who they are or what they're doing is what I'm hearing, okay? Um, let's pull some more cards from another deck here. Nine of Pentacles again. So I definitely feel like you are um, in this beautiful energy. And yeah, it's like, I've got the four of wands again, and I've got the justice card here too. It's like justice will be served. I feel like you and your twin flame were separated, um, longer than you were supposed to be. And there was some sort of, you know, negative entity interference that was going on and justice will be served. Um, somebody who was incredibly egotistical. Now we've got the two of cups in the reverse position. They were just trying to make it very difficult for you to be able to work with anybody. Okay. So that that would, um, Basically, that was, um, yeah, I think they may have gotten to you too, but spirit had to intervene and spirit is saying no more. So, um, you're going to be fine now. You are so very protected. Um, but it's, it's like, what I'm hearing is chaos magic. They just, they kind of just tried to make it difficult for you to be able to work with anybody at all. Um, which then, um, made it, um, your essence kind of embodied that, not your essence, but like your auric field kind of embodied that, which indicated to the universe that you, you weren't um, ready for the twin flame reunion. But, you know, the universe doesn't, the universe only reads energy, okay? So then the universe uh, didn't know that, you know, um, that there was somebody fucking around with your energy, okay? So then that's where your ancestors stepped in and um, fixed that issue, okay? What else, spirit? Yeah, I feel like I'm just pulling the same cards again. Um, Queen of Swords in the reverse position, mother issues. There there could be a mother that was trying to create some sort of chaos. She could have been under the, the spell, you know what I mean? Um, or she could have... Uh, I'm also hearing um, uh, Misery Loves Company. So just be very, very careful and cognizant of who you are around. I've got the Emperor in the reverse position again. It's a narcissist. So... Um, just be really, really careful. Um, what is, there was another message. Um, I do feel like you have an inner strength that you did not possess before. And I, I also feel like you have a, a knowing, like you really, really know this. And it's, you know, magician card in the reverse position. There was some dark magic going on. But justice will be served. We've got the justice card, okay? Our little justice unicorn here. It's not fucking around, okay? You're a fucking angel, you know? You are protected, all right? That's you. You're a fucking angel. It's not going to happen, okay? Um, you know, um, there was another, uh, there was another message. Um, let's see, what else, spirit? Okay, yeah, um, the message is, I feel like, okay, so I feel like somebody's been kind of like fucking with you and you've just been dealing with some people who have, you know, not, um, who haven't been sharing. I'm actually literally hearing that, okay? So, um, it's almost made you, like, close up your heart and, um, think that you, you, um, it's almost, what I'm hearing also is that it's making you project that onto your twin flame, okay? Because you're constantly thinking about your twin flame. And, um, so naturally your reality is going to project onto, you know, 
you're going to project onto them. So spirit is saying, do not do that. Okay. Keep your heart open. All right. Um, and I feel like your twin flame is going to come in and, and they're going to share that with you. Okay. They're going to share, they're going to share with you. Okay. There's going to be a conversation that's going to be had and you will see it and you will know it. And, and I'm also hearing don't settle for less. Do not settle for less, okay? I feel like you know what you're worth, all right? Don't let anybody bully you into um, something that is subpar, is what I'm hearing, literally, okay? Yeah, I just like I said, the hangman in the reverse position. You came to an aha moment of, of, of sorts, okay? And we've got the, um, again, with the magician in the reverse position and the ten of wands, that somebody was it has been trying to stab you in the back. I feel like you are seeing things much more differently, okay? I feel like what I'm actually hearing is that somebody was a light worker and now they are a light warrior. That's like an upgrade. That's like, that's like an empowered empath, okay? That's from empath to empowered empath. Like you, you did it. You're doing it. You're, you're there. You're, you're here, okay? Um, what else, spirit? So proud of you. <laughs> I have goosebumps too. It feels good. I'm, I'm really happy for you guys, for your, you know? Um, Six of Pentacles, yeah, to me the Six of Pentacles is a car, card of, um, car, hmm. card of, um, of, uh, um, like aligning with your divine path, so I feel like as you continue to align with your divine path, you and your twin flame are going to align with each other, okay, you, you guys are mirroring each other 100%, okay, um, and, um, I feel like the two of you are going to, um, start doing some work together as well. So, um, it's like the message that I'm receiving is don't judge until you know, don't judge until you know. All right. Um, and be very, very careful with regards to, um, like I said, outside energies and outside influences, um, affecting your perception and, um, making it so that you are projecting that onto your twin flame. I did pull the justice card in the reverse position also and to me that is it's 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 an unjust but it's also um a, a misjudgment okay so make sure that you are not misjudging your twin flame all right and keep your heart open um if anything keep your heart open to yourself okay um five of wands yeah there's in the reverse position there's they're trying to create chaos and it's it's not working okay spirit came in spirit came in and said no fuck that all right um can't happen, you know, um, yeah, what else, Spirit, anything else? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I have, um, so I have the Three of Pentacles here in the reverse position, and the Three of Pentacles to me, um, yeah, the third party. I've got the Three of Cups in the reverse position as well. So the third party, um, the Three of Pentacles is a card of apprenticeship, okay? It's of starting something new, all right? The message that I'm receiving here with regards to the Three of Cups in the reverse position, um, is that this situation made it so that this, this is not new to you anymore. You know what time it is. That's literally what I'm hearing. You know what time it is, okay? So trust yourself is another message that I'm receiving, Okay. This is, a, this is a beautiful reading. And, um, yeah, I've got the Knight of Cups again. So your twin flame is coming in, all right? Your twin flame is coming in with a message, all right? And it's it's not going to be, it's not going to be, the it's not going to be as hard of work as you think it might be, okay? So have faith in that. Trust that. Have faith in yourself, too, I'm also hearing. And trust yourself. Um, trust your knowing, all right? And um, open your heart and... Um, don't forget to invite me to the wedding. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to end the reading right here. Um, if you guys would like a personal reading, you can um, feel free to text me. My phone number is area code 616-485-3479. And um, if you guys would like to make a donation to my channel, that would be so amazing. Um, everything counts or everything helps. Um, I will leave the PayPal uh, in the link in the description box, um, or you can check out my Etsy shop. That's another really great way to support this channel. Um, and, um, you know, all of the crystals, you know, I dug up. Um, most of the crystals I dug up myself, did all of the lapidary work, did all of the metal work. Um, and so I'm really proud of that as well. So, um, this was a very beautiful reading. Um, I am hearing protect your thir your throat chakra. Throat chakra and your third eye chakra, okay? There's somebody who likes to talk and doesn't want you to talk. 
So um, if you can stay away from that person, that would be good. Um, and or uh, lapis lazuli can help you to be able to deal with that situation a little bit better. Amethyst for your third eye. I'm also hearing um, rose quartz or um, malachite, but I think rose quartz really, really good for opening. Yeah, rose quartz. I'm seeing like bright, bright pink. Rose quartz is really, really good for opening your heart, okay? In a very tender, self-loving kind of way that can, you know, blossom and open up to, um, to loving somebody else, okay? So, all right, I love you guys so much. I hope that you were doing so amazing, and thank you for being here. Until next time, bye guys.